Welcome on back to the treehouse, ladies and gentlemen, where it is always a good place to start the morning. Now, I got something special for you here today. We're going to be doing a, a crappie recipe I've done three or four times, been, been perfecting it with OSG. It's really OSG. Uh, she's going to be showing you guys this recipe today, but I am going to be providing the fish. Extra excited about today's video. Number one, these fish cakes are going to be delicious. I've been waiting a couple weeks to, to do this recipe again. But also, you know, a lot of times I travel around to these different lakes and uh, I'll, I'll do overnights and um, sometimes it's so far away I'll drive home and, you know, kids are already in bed and uh, staying local here today. I like going out to my local lake, coming home, I've got fish, kids are playing in the yard, clean the fish up, you know, kids get to see the whole process, we, we eat the fish. Uh, it's the circle of life, man. I really do love that. So you guys... Well, uh, well, you're coming along today too, Hang, hanging out at the local lake and coming back to the treehouse for a little fish dinner. So I got a chicken check for you guys right now. Rooster drama. Colonel Sanders over here in the background has overtaken Mr. Penny for the lead rooster slot. I don't even know where, where Mr. Penny is right now. They have been straight <laughs> brawling. He's over here. He's hiding under my ATV right now. He is distraught, disheveled, looks like crap. And victorious one, Colonel Sanders. I mean, he'll he'll just straight give him a butt whooping right now. He crows too many times, he will straight give him a butt whooping. Just kind of wondering, and let me know in the comments, do I need to take, take one of these roosters out? Because if this cycle continues, I mean, one of them is going to uh, whoop the other one so bad, he's just going to expire. And, you know, we'll have to throw them in some soup or something. Chicken tortilla soup, I don't know. Uh, we'll come up with something, something fun. Speaking of birds, let's unwrap this one and head to the water. Floating with 64. I have my crappie shorts on today. The crappy, the crappy attire is out. And we got the meat necklace. So, as soon as I catch these things, being uh, ambitious, but as soon as I catch them, I'm gonna throw them in the cooler, get them iced down, so they'll be nice and chilled when I slap the sides off of them. Oh my gosh, why? I had them chase this bait around. This is a tube. This is the tasty tube. They are not. They are not eating it. I just had a real nice, a real big one. To come out and look at it. I don't know if they're just in a weird mood today. Could be the mood. Crappie, when they get the finicky, it's tough. So that bumping bug's got a little more action to it. So windy, this is very difficult. Oh, that one wants it. Come on, eat it. Oh my gosh, they're just falling it out. They're coming right up to it. I think they're just in a mood today. guys to just cooperate so we can put you into a fish cake oh my god oh I know that's not gonna measure. God, they do not want to bite. They just don't. Surrounded by goals. Folks, sometimes the program you just gotta go with. Now that program is a white bass moving out from their spawn doing large schoolings on shads. Yeah, 
crappies suck right now. So I am rolling with the punches, as they say. Let's make a few casts. Oh, oh hey, guys. <laughs> Y'all almost went swimming right there. I'm so glad I turned around and saw that. That will do. Give me five of these. We are in business. Yes. The original live scope, the birds. <laughs> yeah, these little buddies will be perfect. That's a questionable one there. Ah, yeah, a little short. Tip. There he is. Woo! Reeling him on in, just skiing him. Bird, I want the action. A little too small. Fortune. Paper. The scout saving the day. A lot of these white bass right now are coming out of the spawn and they're starting to move out onto main lake point. It is it's gonna get really wild here in another few weeks, but right now they're just in small schools and they're high up in the water column. So fishing a jerk bait or like a square bill on these points or anywhere you see the gulls in the shad is, is a good move. Point them out, buddies. Point them out, are they right there? Yeah. Oh yeah. In school with me. Keeper. One more. We will have the provisions for the family. Natural organics. Locally plucked. Yes, sir. No skunky for me today. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, what are you doing, little munchkin? <laughs> hmm? These are my favorite. Oh, you got some chocolate covered pretzels? No, they're not chocolate. It's, oh, it's yogurt. Uh, Did we catch them? I have some fish. Okay, but not crappie? Oh. They are not crappie. Okay. They're little white bass. Okay, white bass gigs. So this should, <laughs> yeah, this should be interesting still. And it was a weird weather day today too. It was very windy. It was cold. It was very windy and cold. The crappie he said, no thank you. We're gonna clean the fish. Uh, we're going to uh, go to the OSG. Oh, in the kitchen with OSG. It's been a while. It's been a while. 
and uh, you, you feel prepared to get all the, your necessary ingredients, good to go. You feel like you got it dialed. We gonna nail this thing or what? I think, I think we're gonna nail it. I'm actually gonna take some fresh uh, green onions from my garden. Let's show show them the garden. Show them we're going full granola. All right. <laughs> we are going full granola here. Guys. Full granola at the treehouse here. <laughs> so these are onions, uh, and these have exploded. So I actually need to cut some of these back. And we've uh, we've also set up a rainwater uh watering system here so it goes from one of our rain barrels up there catching the natural waters and infusing it into the garden uh and we've also infused it with our own compost the help of the chickens i mean absolute full granola and we got some tomatoes I, i've requested tomatoes uh, so we're going to see how that goes here. And the tomato plants are actually taking off pretty good too. Tomatoes, They've already grown tomatoes. quite a bit. By the way, if you guys have green thumb tips, tips for tomatoes, I want to hear them in the comments. I want big, juicy, fat tomatoes. Whatever we got to do. Here they go, folks. Live action. Colonel Sanders is just whooping up on them. Woo, buddy. Woo. Wah, bam. I mean, they don't even like know we're here while they're fighting. You better watch out. You better watch them toes, Ben. Ben, you better get out of the way, son. <laughs> while they're duking. Yeah, I don't. I, I know. I don't. I don't really know what to do here. Well, I think Mr. Penny has given up. Situation. Like, obviously, he doesn't feel as frisky anymore. He's like, okay, dude. What do we do? Do we put one down? What's the deal? I mean, they're just popping each other. Well, instead of fish cakes, we might be having chicken tonight. <laughs> I'm touching the eyes. I love touching. Ew, you you touch the eyeballs. I love touching yeah, eyeballs. Lee, that's the gross. It's dinner, guys. I'm touching the dinner. Ew. It's <laughs> being rude to your food before you eat it. Just got a uh, mystery package delivered. Ooh, who's it from? <laughs> I don't know. What did you order? I didn't order. I didn't order anything. Are you sure? If it's what I think it is, this was like must have been air, like air delivered or something. This is second day. Must have like flown it down this morning. So much unplanned action in this video. You got cockfights, surprise unboxings. Hey, it's a nice looking hat. With my colors. Oh, it looks like it's good. Don't say that. No. All right, so this is the new Doppler 3 million. Mm -hmm. The Doppler 3 million. <laughs> so I uh, purposely did not put a uh, live turret or a turret on my live scope uh, this spring season because I wanted to bass fish up in the stumps and not break my unit. Um, these guys, they wanted to send me a unit last year and um, like everybody else, they had some uh, issues just getting parts and stuff. Finally, um, they're available now. So this is this is the Foresight. It looks, uh, looks pretty solid. But anyway, I'm gonna be uh, installing this. Supposedly it's, it's easy to take on and off if you do wanna do you know, the offshore spot lock with the turret dangle, and then if you want to go up shallow, do uh, some stump baskets and whatever, you can take it off, and it's pretty easy. So, foresight, forward facing sonar mount. Now, a little pro tip I put a little bit of food grade, food grade uh, knife oil on my blades before I get going. It prevents some of the gunk from, from getting in there, and it also uh, prevents the wear, the finish, if you got a finish on your on your blade, like this one kind of has a non-stick, it'll it'll make it nice and nice and greasy for you. Alright, I got a bowl of cold water. And the fish have been sitting on ice for a few hours. I do like to let them sit overnight if possible. Just lets the meat firm up a little bit. And these are perfect size for what, what we're gonna be doing here today. Wanted those little crappie, but they were not cooperating. So I'm actually interested to see what these are like. So making a little cut right behind the gill plate. And just 
slide the knife down through that rib cage. Gotta be careful with the young ones. You don't want to slide through the, the backbone. It's a female. It's a female. We could uh, we could throw that row in there. Easy peasy. I always take me a little standard unit knife and I'm delicate around the rib cage cut. So get the most out of the meat. These are a good candidate for this recipe. It's like they're too small to really, uh, you could fry them, but they're too small to do anything else with. You coming to check out this action, Emmy? Yeah, I am. You always like the filet part, don't you? Yeah, I like the filet. You want to go fishing? Yeah. You do? You want to catch some of these? Yeah. Cutting the heads off. Yep, cutting the heads off. I don't wash the head part. Oh, that a boy. Okay, Dad, once you get inside, please take your shoes and put them in the shoe basket. Because you always forget. What? Because I always see your shoes going in the wrong, wrong place. It's back here. It's a skunk. It's a skunk? It's a skunk. It's a midday skunk? It's a midday skunk. It's going back there. Oh no. Do you see it? Hot action. Oh, you got me another oh. one out. Yep. Uh, Thank you, sweetheart. No, 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 Ben. No. Fish egg. Fish eggs are called roe. Oh, roe. 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 Yep. Like row, row, row your boat. They don't just have one or two babies. They have thousands of eggs that they lay at one time. And not many survive. Not many, right? Nope. That's why they have so many. Thanks. You're gonna give me the next fish. See, this is like right. family assembly line here. Oh, you're you're holding it good. Yep, I'll take it. Thank you. Never ending action here at the treehouse with the two kids. We have our fillets, so that's ten total fillets in our bowl here. We'll take these inside, give them a little cleanup, uh, rinse all this stuff off, and then I'm gonna let OSG take it from here. In the kitchen with OSG. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> there she is. Uh oh. Stay away from that blender, buddy. And what you got going on so okay. far? I already pre made the little breadcrumbs. Uh, so, what if you don't have breadcrumbs on hand? Super easy to make. Throw a piece of bread in the toaster, get it nice and just like burnt, basically. And then I threw it in the food processor for probably about a minute or two, grind it all up. Homemade breadcrumb. I put goat cheese in them. And I feel like they make them extra creamy, extra without that egg, so I don't have egg, but I have goat cheese. All right, that's that's a good tip. Okay. Good pro tip. So this is gonna be mixed in with the fish. Yes. So our fish is right here, mm -hmm. ready to go. Okay. Fish fillets in the blender, adding the crumbs. Mm -hmm. Bam. Okay, I'm probably not gonna use all this just because it wasn't that much fish. Red un. Going in. About half of that. A little goes a long way. With this the is uh, garden plucked. Oh, this smells fresh. Green onion. I smell that. Oh yeah. Salt, pepper. Well, bam. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of paprika. You could do Old Bay too. We have Old Bay, but I like straight, regular pepper. Yeah, Old, Old Bay's a good move. And then I'm going to throw in some of this uh, garlic and herb. Not okay. sure what our son is doing in the background, but... No idea. Now we're going to add some of this goat cheese. Crumbly goat cheese. Going in. Probably Quarter a tub. Fourth of a cup, if I had to guess. Okay. And All right. a tiny bit of mayonnaise. A little bit goes a long way to this. A little mayonnaise makes it nice. I guess you could use egg if you really you could. wanted to. Instead okay. of the mayonnaise if you want. All right. Okay, now here's keys, the key right here. Because last time I think you made them too much. I agree. I feel like because I didn't pre-make the breadcrumbs, I was trying to like pulse the breadcrumbs with, or pulse the bread with the fish. And we ended up with like a slime. Mush. Yeah, it was gross. So we but the first time chunkiness. I did it was great. Stand back. Okay. I feel like once you see it kind of 
kind of like moving together as a ball, that's when you know it's kind of done. Okay. This is a game changer. Get like a little ice cream scoop, and you can pre-make your little balls so that they're all uniform in size. Kind of what I used to do with okay. cookies. When like I'm... it. I mean, look at that. Kind of smush it down a little bit. You don't want it too thick because then it doesn't cook very well. There you go. And that nice. looks pretty good. I think there's only going to be about six in here. That's fine. You need to catch more. <laughs> wow. It's looking great, my dear. Thank you. All right, so we'll finish these patties and then move on to cooking. Yeah, typically what I like to do, if I have time, is to chill them in the fridge for like an hour or two. We might have to skip that step. I might throw them in the freezer for a minute while I get the oil heating. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, instead of using like a vegetable oil or canola oil, we use a high heat tolerant olive oil. Perfect. That's the sound. That's the That's sound. That's the sound you want. Nice, easy little fry. About five minutes on each side. And let it rest. Those look pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like this is going to be a good batch, huh? So. Running low on ketchup for the kids. Sorry. So. Times are tough. <laughs> this is going to be a big test right here. You know, when the kids are eating fish, you know it's pretty good. Um, I will say, the first time we had it, it kind of reminded me of like a fish stick that you would get when you were younger. It had kind of that feel to it. Yeah, I agree. And it was easy to eat. It wasn't like flaking all over. It wasn't messy. So it was kind right. of like a nugget where they could just dip it and rip it. Dip it and rip it. And <laughs> it's always good to see the kids eat. Mm -hmm. Especially fish. Especially really something is. that you've caught, right? Oh, I know. Doesn't yeah. make you feel good. Well, it, it also makes you feel good because I caught the fish, but also like they're watching me clean it and everything, and Emmy's Emmy's into it, you know. Like, she, she told me on our we were going to dump the fish that she was like, Dad, I just I just love that we both love the lake, Aww. and I really I I really love to fish, and I just I want to do things with you because. I mean, it was the sweetest thing. And she too. helps me in the garden. I mean. Yeah. Don't feel pressured by the camera to flip it too early. Yeah. You do it when you're ready. Yeah, I'm not ready. You have a problem? Mm, we're sticking slightly. And I don't know why. Oh, I like the brown, though. That, that one came out clean. Nice. Sticking a little bit. A little bit. Pan too hot. It can't be a little too hot. I don't know, but it's not like it's splattering, so I don't... I'm wondering if it's because it didn't chill all the way, because they were still... They weren't fully chilled. Could be, could be. Now, if these white bass cakes are the jam... I mean, we're talking all summer long, baby. <laughs> all summer long hey, white I'm, bass cakes. I'm here for it. We eat a lot of crappie here. In fact, we got, we got crappie out. I think we're going to have it tomorrow night. Because we didn't know if you we were, were going to... Yep, almost didn't happen today. If, if the, I saw like a hundred seagulls just fly up. They're looking for shad and I was like, well, there's dinner. Don't grade us on presentation at this juncture. Of course, you can't really grade us on taste, so. <laughs> <laughs> or smell, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, that's pretty much all you got is a presentation score. Uh, Make sure they're yep. over there. <laughs> Who knows what's happening over there? As long as you hear laughter, you're okay. Yeah. It's usually, usually followed by crying. It's mm -hmm. like they're having a little too much fun, things are getting a little out of hand, and then somebody bonks her head. Water's gonna get hurt. Yep. Yeah. My dear, yes. bring in the fish cakes. Here they are. <laughs> Come stand with me. All right, golden brown. Uh huh. I think you cooked them well. These seem a little more chunkier. Than they the, do. The yeah. fish is definitely different, and I think not chilling them is different. So we'll see. It smells good. They don't smell burned. They're just darker. No. Let's split a cake. Okay. You and I. What you don't want, like last time we had, it was real spongy. It was. It was like sponge cake. Super spongy. The texture was not good. 
Mm. Not very good. What do you think? Still a little spongy? No. It falls so, apart very easily. Just taking it all in. Flavor, fantastic. Lots of different flavors in there. I still like crappie better. Texture wise? Yeah. It could just be chillium. It could be the element. Goat cheese, the green onion, the red onion. Flavor is fantastic. Texture is good as well. Can I film too? I need you to help me with something. <laughs> yeah! All right. Try this. It's good? Mm -hmm. what, what do you taste? All of it. What do you like about it? Everything. Everything? Well, you know that was in the cooler just an hour ago. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Ah. ah. Okay, Mama's got more for you on the plate. There you go. I mean, that's an unbiased test right there. I can assure you, she's a picky eater. Guacamole, and I love it. You had guacamole today? Yeah. That's funny, because you never really want to eat avocados here at home. I know. Speaking of that, a little avocado and tomato on the side with this, fantastic. What am I trying to think of? Uh, not a salsa, but a uh, pico, something like that to put on top of that. I'm about to hit it with this aioli sauce. Or a little risotto. That combo is the jam. That bite I just had right there, that is good as any crab cake I've ever had at a restaurant. And that includes every three-star restaurant we've ever been to. Can you have the sauce? I don't know. That Let is see. amazing. Is this the bacon? It's awesome, no. No, first ingredient, so I didn't know. Okay. Oh, poor old Mr. Penny. You know, used to be top dog at the roost, and uh, well, now he's just locked out of the house. Guys, the fish cakes, they were amazing. I'm telling you, you got to try the fish cakes. Uh, if you are a bass fisherman that, you know, doesn't really fish for other species, if you, if you run into some white bass, Keep half a dozen of them, you know, try this recipe. You'll be shocked how, how good it is. And I'm interested to try it on some other species as well. But so far the crappie and the white bass are fantastic with it. I don't know what was going on with the crappie today. They were locked in their little caves. I couldn't get the trolls to come out of the caves today. But very soon they're gonna be moving offshore. We're gonna get the Doppler on the boat and we are going to be plucking them so I'm excited for that and also these these white bass are starting to come up They're getting in the schooling session school is about to be in session and I uh, can't wait to get Amy out there and get her with her little pole and and she's gonna have a good time she's getting into it so it's fun but Mr. Penny I think it's time to sign it off Fish Freaks you know what to do I will see you on the next great adventure in the outdoors